Hey, what's going on, everybody? We back up here. All right. It's Tyrone. Don't call me, though. I right, got the homegirl, Candy. All right. What's going on, Candy? How's it been going? Good. How's everybody? How's my shugs? Yes, sir. And so, hey, just so some promotion goes, we promote on the good guy experience here. I know you uh, You got a little business, Candy. What, what, what you got going on? I know you've been busy with it. Okay. So, I am a... I call myself a barbertician. Mm. That means um, I cut hair, I do locks, um, facials, anything in that ar arena with it. cuts and locks, facials, um, things of that nature. My business page is Apollonia the Goddess. That is my barber name, Apollonia the Goddess, because I make everyone feel like a god or a goddess. Okay. Um, I'm located in Greenville at the Tresses Salon. It is not too far from Piggly Wiggly off the of Hooker Road. Um, Piggly Wiggly, that's the OG spot. Yes, you know it goes down at the peak. <laughs> <laughs> um, we had we we are a one stop shop, which means you can get sew-ins you can get your frontals you can get braids um we got a master optician you could get anything you can think of you can get it done at the salon we have an esthetician and we also have a nail tech so if you guys are ever in greenville north carolina come check us out at latrexis oh, okay so i have to add we'll add a link to that um for all the youtube folks we'll put that in there so sure, they can sure check you out. Yes, so sir. how are things going with you? I'm good. I'm chilling, you know, doing what I do, you know, working in the system, trying not to catch COVID. Like I know, everybody right? Doing. Everybody catching that thing, but you know. COVID is it's it's peaking, like it, but if you notice every time this year, around this time every year, it starts getting bad. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, yeah, show them shut down on my birthday again. Nah, I don't think they're gonna shut down no more. I think they they ain't gonna mm -hmm. mess the money up. So you just gonna have to um shut yourself down. That's how it's been late now. They ain't yeah. shut the school down, but it's been a bunch of teachers out of here, gone. Right. There is someone coming to work. Like teachers you looking around pay like, extra. all right. Say it again. Y'all teachers should get extra. Preach. Preach. And then, especially if you're teaching little small kids that don't wash their hands. And, and... Yeah. Well, man, I had, I had this kid in, my, in the front row. Uh huh. I was just coughing. I was so mad. I was like, I was like, bro, what's up? I'm like, yo, you good? Oh, Mr. Right. Michael, I'm good. Man, hey, man. Hey, move look. To the back. Move I to tell the back. my clients yeah, yeah. you get five coughs. Yeah. Five coughs. After the fifth, after the fifth cough. You got you to go. go. You gotta go. You gotta go. I was like, you gotta go see the nurse, my brother. You gotta see them. But I'm okay. All right, we gotta make sure. Right. <laughs> I need you to put something up your nose and make that thing go round and round. Oh, I hate that thing. Every time I go take a test, I hold on to the steering wheel because my natural reaction is like, you know, but <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I hate yeah. that test, but but but, but one, one other thing about candy, um you, you, you're like a TikTok star, aren't you, too? You you, you, you kind of... <laughs> TikTok don't want to give me my money. props. They I, don't want to give my that. money. And, and, I, and I, I was peeping your page, and um, and so, like, I said, we was going to chat. There was a couple of topics, like, you know, we can we chat on this and good guy, man. So, yeah. so, so one, one of them, one of them was, was this one here. All right, and then, and then, hold on, matter of fact, I think I got I got the uh, I got one of the things from your stuff up here. Yeah, I, I made that little meme myself. <laughs> oh, you made the little the little meme. Yeah, because I wanted to give people a visual of like a woman pumping the gas, pumping the gas. Yeah, so yeah. so we got we got the woman up here pumping gas. Right, and right. my baby daddy in the on the passenger side, like he can't pump gas. Okay, so yeah, so that was a question. So, so people were like, um, I saw up there, people were like saying, Yeah, that's cool, and all that, right? And, and what makes it what's so crazy about it is it 
were more females saying it was cool than men. Yeah, so so we had people was like, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, work man, I'm pumping. She's she ready to pump, and they um, they you know. they were more on the time thing, like on a timeline thing, saying like, what if you press for time and all this stuff like that? I mean, I understand me personally. Okay, this this my thing. I mean, if he's an able body, oh, right, oh you pumping that gas. And, and and for me as, as a dude, I, if I'm sitting in the pasture and, and my lady pumping, I'm embarrassed. I'm like, right. I'm like, because oh, to me that that's like saying, you know, when you pump gas for you know for your lady, that's saying she taking. I got her. She's good. I'm. She's taken care of. Right. She out there pumping gas. Like when I was a you know when I was a young wolf out here, I see a cute <laughs> little thing pumping gas. I'm like, oh oh she she by herself. I'm like, oh ma'am, what you doing pumping? Let me help you. And you know, and I don't want them problems because then I'm gonna have to right. come out and approach. And then it's like, bro, now you man enough. Now, now you, now you bucking up when you got a pumping gas. Cause you don't want nobody running up on your that. old lady while you while she pumping gas and stuff. Yeah. Cause you know people don't play by their old lady when it, when a man calls his woman his old lady. He hey. don't play about her. Hey, if, she, if he old, she old lady. Don't mess with her. Don't but mess you know, with but, her. but I, I think it goes back to like just. Here recently, society man, like people act like there no gender roles. Yeah, it's like oh, like, you know, there's no roles, you know, but it's not true. Like you know, it's just natural roles. For example, you know, people say that oh, no gender roles. Everybody's you know, it's not about equal. It's just about everybody got different natural roles. And mm -hmm. some some bumps in the night, three in the morning, I hear a rumbling. I ain't gonna have my wife grab the tool. I'm grabbing the tool and I'm going to look. I'm gonna be like, yo, hey, what's going on? How right. I look, so I'm hey, 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 baby, go, go, go. I'm scared. Go see what's going on. I'll be waiting right here. Right. That's, on, that, that is, that's not a man. It's, it, 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 I don't it's, know if it's like a South thing and that's, that's like an unspoken, like, amendment for South people that. The man is supposed to pump gas. The man is supposed to be the protector. Yeah. And I also feel like women have to be so women have to be masculine now these days. Ah, and that's so unsexy. And and, and, oh, and it's it's nothing wrong with being a strong woman. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with being a strong woman. Mm -hmm. But we tend to have to be in survival mode so much we forget how to be feminine. Mm -hmm. We forget how to let y'all leave so that's why we like uh, i'll go pump my own gas i don't need you mm -hmm. to pump my gas i got options for my own gas nah you ain't got Ooh. to it's not it's not a matter i think people confuse like relationships they confuse yeah like, stuff with power like I, like I know some dudes are like oh she you know making me Nah, it's just what you it's, it's kind of what i want to do like i, I want to make sure everybody's good and like yeah. if she's if something's heavy you know and i'm you know, i'm, I'm Pretty strong dude. Right, she's like five foot tall. Yeah, of course she can. <laughs> of course she can do it. But yeah, why she? I, I I got that. I don't want my lady doing yard work. I don't want mm -hmm. her to class. I, I I could do. I'll do that. I don't want you know. Either now, I'll do it. I, now, or I, pay somebody like, to do I it. get the modern thing where we work together as a team. Like <clears throat> you know, let's just say if I cook. I wouldn't mind if like he washed the dishes or whatever. Like yeah. teamwork. Yeah, team, teamwork is all good. You me know? pumping that gas and you in the car. <laughs> uh-uh. And that's, I'm, just, a, that's, 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 that's just the role. That, that's a protection thing. That's that's a a lot. It's more to it than just yeah. you know, pumping gas. But now if he gotta go to the bathroom and we got somewhere to go. All right, I'll do it then. Go ahead and yeah. do your thing in the bathroom. Yep. There, you there you go. There you go. It's not a concrete. like you, It not, doesn't yeah. always have to happen. But in general, like probably nine times out of ten, I'm coming to gas. Yeah. If I'm hurt, I got to go to the bathroom. We work. That's cool. If, like we're on a trip, that's all. Right. Cool. You know. But, so you know. so what about like, um, I know somebody had said something about like opening doors and stuff like that. Yeah, um, you know, yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, sometimes for me, sometimes um, I'm all for. It. Sometimes I forget, I do I forget myself. I'm not always the most, mm-hmm. you know, I, on every rule of that stuff. Sometimes I forget. And, right. And, man, my wife reminds me just say, "Hey, you know, I, oh yeah, mom, got you." <laughs> you know, because there's some stuff like you know, I wasn't up on as much coming mm-hmm. up, and I just I didn't know. And and girls, I that before I didn't know like um. What's one? Oh, like um, you know how, you know how when you walk down the street. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the inside. You know, like I don't know. Yeah. I I never was on that. I I ain't makes sense. But once I seen, it, I was like, oh cool, I'm good with that. Yeah. You know? But, but you know, it, it, it's it's like it's not that you don't want to do it. It's just that it ain't part of your regular routine. So yeah, yeah. you can't really blame that person if that's not what they're accustomed to like you can say yeah. hey um can you open up the doors for me like that's what i'm used to it's up it's 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 up to i guess it's up to how yeah. y'all lay your yeah. rules it's, a, rules, it's, it's, but it's what, people, what people grew up on and you know yeah everybody grew up different some, some people some people grew up with a house that everybody listened to um NWA and they like ah oh, bitches ain't shit like and they don't right. know nothing about that stuff. They be like what do stuff for a woman and they, and they don't know. But then like, we, oh, like I could use this for example, like at the salon, two of us used to listen to trap music. Yeah. <laughs> so the other two, they kind of like R and B and Summer yeah, yeah. Walker and all them. You are gonna and move different. <laughs> me and that person be like. All right, now we're gonna listen to that all day. Let's let's turn it time for the trap. But it's like they everybody everybody house was raised different, you know? Yeah. Like with me, I was raised by my grandparents. They ain't listen oh, to God. all that type of stuff or whatever, yeah, but like- the trap came from having a teenage mom and dad. Yeah, you gotcha. know. Gotcha. And then someone else, their parents grew up in church. They grew up in the church, so they know all the gospel. I, I came up in church. Like now, a lot of people, me, the person I am now, are like what? But yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I did. And I know all, all the church songs, and right. Know, I still listen to. I'm still up on all the music, though. I was like, yeah. all right, church over with. Uh, I sing. I'd be like, yeah. but it, it's crazy <laughs> though because now. I don't listen to as much trap music when I started like trying to tap into my feminine energy. Mm-hmm. So yeah, music makes a difference. It, it yeah, kinda but I, I really like oldies. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, cause music now they don't be talking about no, oh, I miss you, baby. You know, let me do this, X, Y, and Z. Yes, the, like, like, like like R and B is not what R and B used no. to be. And I mean, and it kind of it changes it, makes, it changes the culture of, of everybody how everybody is. I think a lot of this gender war stuff you see like all over the place. It's music. Comes from. Yeah, like and, and even the R and B is just straight to the point sex, and it's it's no like wooing. It's no you know Mm-mm. ain't no begging. It, 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 yeah, it ain't. It's none of that. It's Mm-mm. like so yeah, like music. Like I can't listen to like a lot of hip hop like. And I, I was always a hip hop head, but just the more conscious I get about just the world and how life is, I'm like, man, this sounds like a clan meeting. I listen right. to something like, like man, they nothing, more. It, nothing is they, original no more. Yeah, it's like it's all about it ain't original. Clan. Everything mm-hmm. is sample. Like, no offense to y'all city girls and Megan the Stallion fans and all that. Megan the Stallion and Cardi B have nothing but Three six mafia beats. Facts. facts. They it, it facts. when it's that's up, true. when it's up, that's, that's that ain't true. nothing but yeah. you know, I can't say yeah. it, but you know. yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I, I peeped that like because I, I saw a song where Juicy J was like he's he gets paid off of all this stuff. Yeah, like, like they, they, they the... kind of kind of rap like him, them, yeah, you know. A lot of people don't realize that. Yeah, you peeped that. A lot of people hadn't peeped that. Yeah. They, they like the style, so. Yeah. See the girls, they ain't nothing but. Um, see you the know, girls. 
They I telling mean, the, you the music be upbeat. Like if I'm at the gym, yeah, you it's know, cool. If I'm at the gym and I'm I'm jamming, but if, if I start listening to it, I gotta turn it off. Listening to the words, yeah, I gotta like ignore the words because like, it don't be making sense. Yeah, it makes sense, but it just it ain't what I'm on. It makes sense. Think for about it. They be talking about some. They scamming. Talking about get a nigga to buy you a bag. Da, 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 da. But what if you ain't got but forty dollars to put in a a, a eight hundred to one hundred dollar bag? What's the purpose of getting it? Oh, you're not dealing with them. You you, they, you, you gotta get them. You can't get them if you got forty bucks, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. You might be saving. I mean, that's yourself. what you like. That's what you like. Yeah. But it mm-hmm. it ain't no more wooing a, a woman no more in the song. Nah. It's, I, it's, I, think, it's uh, <laughs> I don't even know what the R&B is. Uh, it's a lot of uh, just straight to the point sex. Popping pills. Popping, yeah, popping pills. In the R&B, I'm like, what? What are we talking about? Because think about it. I know some people going to get mad. I ain't saying what R. Kelly did was right. Okay, <laughs> I'm not, not saying all. what he did is right, people. No, no, I'm it wasn't talking about it was his not. music. Yeah. R. Kelly told on himself through his music, and he disguised it so well. Yo, so so that's why I can't really like always. When people mention I can't listen to his music because it now that you know, I'm just <laughs> I can't do it. And every like I said, after every lyric in my head, I hear little girl. And I gotta turn it off. And th- okay, mm-hmm. like Keith Sweat song. Um, what's the what's the what's the verse where he be like you uh, you may be young but you're red. He was yeah. talking about a little young girl. Yeah, R. Kelly wrote that. He wrote that. Oh no, he sounded like oh, he wrote it. I'm about to say. I saw like R. Kelly's a hey, hey, Keith. I got I got some fire for you. Yeah, he might have wrote and, that. Um, who else? It's oh, 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 you know, you know, so I'll tell you something that bugged me out. Um, KRS One had a song, oh, I forgot the name of it. Chris, that's my, that's my dude right there. Chris, I one of my favorite Chris. MCs of all time. Yeah, but he had, but he had one of the, he had one of the creepiest, oh my bad, he had one of the creepiest rap songs ever. Which one, which one was that? Um, Guys, it, it was it was a rap song about him having sex with this young girl. Okay, so he had sex. I I, I gotta. Put, I'm just thinking about it now. I would have pulled it up. He had sex with this young girl, mm-hmm. and so her dad comes in, catches him, and he's like, "Oh no, dad's got a gun." And then he's like, "Yo, we had sex with my daughter, dude." I know. I was a kid. I remember he puts a stick of gum in his mouth. And he's like. Now I gotta get your butt since you got my daughter, and like, and it was like, oh shoot, the dad tried to rape KRS One, and uh, it was a crazy video. So then he punches the dude and leaves, and that's like, and he then he's these raised like, yeah, and this is a, a, a cautionary tale about a young girl, you know, like he almost got his booty took by the girl's dad. It was crazy, but you now you gonna make me go look for but it now. If he um if that song came out today, oh he'd be canceled. He it'll be a rap for him. What? But th- the song was about, you know, it was with this girl and she was like, ended up being 15 and, mm-hmm. and then her dad came in. It was crazy. That yeah. must have been Brenda got a baby. Nah, that's Tupac. Uh, I know, but I'm saying yeah, she must have been Brenda and that's how she got pregnant. My man, <laughs> my man Jamal, my man Willis had posted it. Uh, but I can't, th- I can't think of the name of the song off the top of my head for some reason. But, but yeah. I'm saying it's a it's a lot of hit and stuff in music, and we ain't never really yeah we just going along with it, bopping to it. Don't even know what Facts. really going on. Facts. Yeah. Well, so speaking of of the like the roles in men and women, mm-hmm. all right? So another thing that you have mentioned, you on fire with your poles. By the way, you on fire. You're killing them. This was a. Uh, so explain to the people the 8515 rule. I think you said it was a Steve Harvey thing. I don't really mess with Steve Harvey as far as advice like yeah. that. I don't know. It just some some things he be if he be hit and miss with it. You know, yeah, and, and I and I really think like that people. 
I really think Steve be trying to stay in his lane when it comes to Hollywood because he don't want to get blackballed. Yeah, he, yeah, he's he, he we watched the ledge yeah. definitely. Except for that so, Trump thing, he almost slipped off the ledge with the Trump thing, but he recovered. Yeah, <laughs> but he was saying like it should be eighty five fifteen. I guess saying like the man, it takes more for a woman to be to her, it. It costs more for a woman's upkeep than a man does. Like the woman, it costs to. For her to be groomed and have her hair and nails done and she has to take care of the kids she has to you know mm -hmm. mom wife mm -hmm. take care of the house and it doesn't take much for a man you know i guess saying like a man upkeep is not as expensive as a woman so oh. he was saying like a man should pay the big bills and the wife mm. should pay the smaller bills. Mm, okay. He should take it like I I seen where he was saying, like, you should have four banking accounts. Your first one should be your, your joint account together. Mm. Where your bills come out. Mm -hmm. The second one should be a joint savings. Mm. The third should be his set his account and then her account. So whatever is in your account or her account. Y'all don't have nothing to do with it. That's y'all own individual money. Mm -hmm. I get that. I mean, I like that. that. That's what well, that's, that's. I like that. No, like that, that's that, that's because, common marriage, I think. Yeah, that's that's. This is our money, our savings, your money, my money. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, some people don't think like that. Some people be like, "Uh, uh, this ain't yours, Gerald. This mine." Well, yeah, when, when you get married, you, your stuff comes together, you know, and uh, yeah, and, I mean, as far as man paying the big bills, you know, I'm, you know, but then that's why I'm like, I got no issue with that. I, I was kind of raised that way, so yeah, because some men are taught that they're supposed to pay the bigger bills, but this might this another thing, like, I wonder about what if the woman makes more than a man. Um, how does it how how does that woman make that man still feel manly and head of the household if you bring in more than him? I mean, if he's bringing enough in to take care of the bills, then you know that I guess it is. I guess it wouldn't be that much different unless it's like ego. Other than ego, like yeah, he has a job, like he, he's know, unemployed. He got just, yeah, if he's just sitting at home. And he ain't doing nothing. I don't. I, I'm not built that way. I don't know. I I don't relate to those kind of men. So I don't know what. I don't know how that works. But right. If a man, if you're working and she's working and she makes more, and y'all got good relationship and everything, then you know she still respect you as a man, and you know you mm -hmm. handle business. I, I think I think that could work, unless of course now you get the ego thing and. And if you get to where, like, you know, ah, you, I make more than you and don't say nothing. Like, when you get mad, like, then that would be an issue. Like, you got to have respect in a relationship. Right. Like, if a man don't feel respected, then I don't know how a relationship works. And vice versa. Everybody's got to be respected. I, I think it is just, you can't apply that to every commitment or marriage mm -hmm. or relationship or whatever. I don't think it, it all depends on the couple's situation yeah that's what i mean like relationships are like fingerprints man everybody's different right so, so what, what what you do in your relationship might get me might hemmed up and what i do you know you might not be able to rock with so that's right. why like for me i don't you know i've been married like 14 years but i don't be giving people marriage advice because you do what i do you might end up messed up you know yeah you just got to figure it out between you that's and your partner true too. so I don't know, but yeah, but I, I I believe in paying, you know, man, paying bills, you know, and because just look, so if somebody if somebody comes into your house, right, mm -hmm. and there's no food in the fridge, everybody looking hungry, for who they gonna look at? They can they can look at the husband, and be like, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now if somebody comes into your house, and the house is nasty, they gonna look at the woman. It, it's just it. it 
people like to pretend it's not, but there's there's now you don't have to go by old society, but that's just kind of how people naturally flow mm-hmm. and stuff, you know. So because it's crazy because like bachelors, like single guys, it's cool if they don't have no furniture in their house like that, or you know, yeah. deck yeah. out. You're a bachelor, and then you get a woman, and a woman starts to you know change stuff up. They, women women make the house better. They they women see yeah. stuff like my wife. Look, I have no vision for a house. I have no <laughs> look. I, I I be I try, but I have no vision for where stuff goes and mm-hmm. what should be here. Like I'm like, ooh, that, hey, that sounds great. I will pay for it. <laughs> See me, I'm different. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that domestic. <laughs> yeah. like, I mean, like some people. I be looking at some people do their decorations and decor i'm like how did you even think to like peace yeah man, I, 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 I won't yeah. get out for that but you know but luckily i have somebody who does so yeah. and, 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 and it flows and it works I, I, you know hey. and i i never thought men really pay that much attention to like how a woman decorates a house but they really do yeah because it's dope like it, it's something that you know it's something that most women kind of bring to mm-hmm. make it most men, if you look at a man list by itself, they a woman yeah, like, like what, what's going on? But in it, you can tell when the woman starts to get married or because I'm gonna you know, tell you, I, this guy had dated. I went to his house, like it was decked down. It was decked down. I was like, and who stay here with you, Gerald? Mm, yeah. But he was like. Nobody. I um, said, so you put all this together yourself? He was like, yeah. He was like, I'm the only boy. I have four sisters. Okay. So, like, so, so did he really do it or was he sneaky linking out there? No, it really was him. Oh, okay. All right. Hey, good for me. Because he was the type like, say you had something to drink and you put the cup down and you turn your back. He taking your cup and going like he had OCD. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But yep. his 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 house was neat. His he had every the color scheme and everything. You yeah. thought a woman would live there. Yeah, me. I, I just I don't have an eye for it. I, I you know I don't know. I, I let my better half rock that out. Mm-hmm. And then, hey, and it all works together. So you know, so yeah. Oh man, so oh, man, we, we we said we said we was on. A little bit of time here, so yeah, we know we know uh, about time. <laughs> we know a little bit. Hey, you, time flies when you're having fun, you know. I know um, you don't even be you be thinking like that. Fifteen minutes is a long time, but it really ain't. Nah, it's really not. So we going on thirty minutes soon. Yeah, so we go ahead. We go go wrap it up and uh, and so hey, tell the people again about what where, where, where they can get they. They had done that, and they had. Now let let me tell y'all, I've seen Candy's work. Candy goes all out now. I seen her do oh, like dudes, dudes getting the beard. I was like, oh, the beard. She got the spa stuff going. She taking. I mean, it's a spa. It's a vibe. You got to check her out. If you in that area? You want to check Candy out? She gets busy. Yeah, with and also we're looking to do a lock tour. So if you want me and TK? TK is the master optician. Everybody knows TK. We go to Walmart, they like TK. I'm like, dang, I feel like I'm an entourage. But um, we're looking to do a lock tour. So, like, if you all want us to pop up in y'all city, let us know. Okay, okay. Sounds good. All right. Yep. So Look for that. Um, look for that. That link. We'll put that link in the description or in the on the uh, comments, and we'll get going with uh, you know, get you promoted out here. And if anybody yeah. else out in the group, man, it's in the good guy group. You got something you want to promote? Hit me up. Uh, you can jump on and promote. We'll hit you up and let you do your thing, man. We want to promote each other. You know, if you just if you got some social media stuff, you want to get some likes. Drop your stuff down. We'll, we'll, we'll follow you. Unless it's something right. crazy, we ain't gonna follow you. Know, you can't follow for a follow. Follow for a follow. We All gotta right. stay together. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, so everybody, be well. Love each other. 
And we holler at y'all next time. Peace out. Bye.